talented performer like some of the people that have been here tonight, but I just want to talk to you guys for a few minutes. My name is Danny P, and I'm the founder of the Peaceful Streets Project here in New York City. Uh, it's a nationwide organization. It's a new organization, but I've been cop watching for about five years. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of uh, an idea about what the PSP is about, and we look forward to working with the other organizations here. I've already made some awesome connections tonight, and uh, oops, sorry about that. So. The mission of the Peaceful Streets Project is to train youth to assertively but peacefully stand up for your rights. Because you don't want to approach a cop who has a gun on his hip with an attitude that I know my rights. You want to be able to peacefully approach the police to make sure that the situation does not escalate. I love this brother's shirt over here. Ask, am I being detained? If not, walk away. If you are, well, I don't answer questions without an attorney, right? All right. The second thing is to encourage a culture where whenever any one of you sees a cop stopping somebody, immediately you pull out your phone and start recording. We want to create a situation where the cops cannot stop someone without four or five cameras of every witness that's in the place so that there is a record. The NYPD has a very extensive surveillance system in New York City. They can basically track you from, you down by the ferry in Manhattan, they can track you all the way to Times Square using their cameras. We the people need to have a surveillance system so that when the cops act up, the footage doesn't conveniently go missing. The cameras didn't malfunction and that evidence is still there that can be used against them. The third thing is by doing that, we're creating a culture of police that know they're being watched, they're no longer going to get away with the the abuse, and hopefully they're going to choose not to violate your rights. They're going to start choosing to act right so they don't get jammed up. So those are the three main uh, missions, if you will, of the Peaceful Streets Project. Now, do I have everybody's permission to speak honestly and, and speak the truth the way I see it, even if it offends some people? All right. So. I see that you guys have a voter registration booth over here. But what I want to say is, why vote? Because this, these guys up here depicted on the mural, they own the system. So you can vote for this one or vote for that one. The system isn't ever going to change because they own it. Okay, Voting for the lesser of two evils is not going to change the NYPD's abuse of the people. because. No politician, I don't care what party they're from or what they say their beliefs are, no politician is going to stop taking money from Washington, D.C., the anti-terrorism money that is militarizing the police and turning them into a police force. That's who's writing these policies. Rand Corporation uh, is a military contractor, and they write the stop and press policies for the NYPD. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Changing the NYPD is going to come from the grassroots. It's not going to come from politics. So that is the main, the main point of my message, is that we can change it by doing this, by cop watching, by holding the police accountable and not letting them get away with the, by assertively standing up for your rights. Uh, that's how you're going to change it. So we must lead by peaceful example, right? Uh, we want to show the police that racism is not tolerated, that it's not right. You have the right to vote. I'm undocumented. Yes, you do have a right. I wish I could vote. I wish that I was undocumented and the government didn't know I exist. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Seriously. I'm sorry. I know that maybe that offends some people. I'm just saying the system wants you to believe that voting is the only power you have. It's not. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I've got Know Your Rights TV. Yo, he raised some good 